semi-automatic dual boiler espresso machines. They are the top of the line in home espresso. Hey espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today an in-depth comparison of four of our favorites. The ECM Synchronica, the Rocket R58, the Profitech Pro 700 and the Expo Bar Brutus 4R. We'll find out how they are similar and different and help you decide which one best fits your style. The similarities, well, they are all dual boiler PID machines with E61 groups, rotary pumps, and they can all connect direct to household plumbing. With those features, you get very stable brew temps, quiet operation, and ease of use. Now, the ease of use comes in a number of areas. With the dual boilers, you can brew and steam at the same time. The PID in combination with the Thermosiphon E61 group gets you accurate and stable brew temps with no guesswork. And a plumbed machine, well, there's just nothing like it. It's always ready to go. Not having to fill reservoirs or empty drip trays all the time. Believe me, once you've been relieved of those duties, you'll never look back. And when plumbed, I'll tell you how two of these machines can work a little extra magic on your espresso. But more on that in a minute. Plus, I'll tell you about two little pieces of technology which make using and maintaining these machines a whole latte more enjoyable. Now, I'll start with a Brutus 4R. More than a decade ago, we asked Expo Bar to make a dual boiler machine for high level home espresso enthusiasts. The Brutus is the result. During development, Todd, our machine expert, asked Expo Bar for a design using a heat exchanger inside the steam boiler to feed water to the brew boiler. It's a unique setup with incredible temperature stability even as new water enters the brew boiler when you're pulling a shot. Compared to the other machines we'll look at, the Brutus is what you might call utilitarian as far as the exterior casework. It's rock solid with some of the thickest metal you'll find in a machine case but it does lack the high level finishing work of the other machines we'll look at. Under the hood, however, it's every bit as capable. Copper brew and steam boilers are both 57 ounces. Now, that's a really big brew boiler. In comparison, the Profitech and ECM use a 25 ounce brew boiler and the Rockets is 20. Internal components are high quality and have been refined based on user feedback over the four Brutus generations, resulting in a rock solid and reliable machine. The Brutus, like all Expo Bar machines, uses a customized E61 group with a very special pre-infusion chamber milled in behind the shower screen. As you begin an extraction, some of the water drops onto the coffee as that chamber fills and pressure builds more slowly than on a standard E61 with that extra space. The pre-wetting and pressure ramp up acts as a type of pre-infusion which may improve extractions and help prevent channeling in the coffee puck yielding more consistent extractions. The Brutus delivers steam from a 57 ounce boiler through a no burned wand and stock single hole tip. Hot water and steam are knob controlled through standard valves. The Profitech Pro 700 and ECM Synchronica machines are nearly identical internally. Boilers are stainless steel and 68 ounces for steam and 25 ounces for brew. Now, I mentioned these machines could do a little magic, and that's in the form of line pressure pre-infusion. When the E61 lever is in the pre-infusion position, line pressure is applied to the coffee prior to the rotary pump turning on. This capability is unique in this group of machines. The Expo Bar Brutus and the Rocket R58 have solenoid valves which close off line pressure when the pump is not operating, so you can't do a line pressure pre-infusion. Now, when we start getting technical and talking about things like solenoid valves, it brings us to thinking about what's under the hood of these machines, the quality of the internal components, and how they are engineered as a system. In my opinion, the Profitech and ECM machines are standouts in this regard. Open these machines up and you'll see there's an elegant simplicity to how the best available components are laid out. There's no crazy plumbing, proper placement of electronics for better protection from heat and moisture, overall an easy to work on design with fewer points of failure than other machines. They are fine examples of top class German engineering and Italian craftsmanship.
The internal quality is quite literally mirrored on the exterior of the Pro 700 and the Synchronica. Exquisite craftsmanship is evident. There's extra detail in the fully rolled panel edges and finish work that's perfect under close inspection. Again, these two machines are nearly identical inside. Outside, the Synchronica has a few extra details. On both machines, you'll appreciate the PID display, which alternates between brew and steam boiler temperatures and changes to an automatic timer when pulling a shot. Both machines have low wear sprung valves. They're lever operated on the Synchronica and knobs on the Pro 700. Wands are no burn and steam is delivered through a two hole tip. Extra details on the Synchronica include custom top and bottom nuts on the group, a chromed N on the group lever, matching chrome accents on angled portafilters, and valves inscribed with ECM branding. In the end, the Pro 700 and Synchronica are identical in capabilities. What the Synchronica offers is extra detail touches on the outside. Our last machine is the Rocket R58. Now, put one of these on your counter and there's no mistaking what it is. From the feet which resemble rocket engine nozzles to extensive branding front and back, the iconic R on the steam knob, even the portafilters have a Rocket logo. Now, Rocket takes a different approach with its PID in two ways. First, the display and control unit attaches to the machine via a coiled cable. It's Rocket's feeling that some customers prefer a cleaner look with no digital display on the face of the machine, so you attach the display as needed. Second, Rocket has chosen to display the actual temperature inside the brew boiler. On the other machines, there's an offset programmed into the PID, so you set the brew temp you want, and that offset gives you the proper internal boiler temp to get it. With the Rocket, you look up your desired brew temp in a manual, to get the required boiler temp and program the PID using that to produce your desired brew temperature. The boilers in the rocket are copper with a brass end plate on the steam boiler, 20 ounces for brewing and 61 on the steam side. Internal components are of excellent quality and laid out well. However, the overall design and engineering is maybe a little more complex and not as elegant as what you'll find in the Pro 700 and Synchronica. The vacuum relief, for example, in the R58 vents internally, and on the ECM and Proftec machines, any moisture from the vacuum relief is piped to the drip tray. Back outside the machine, the water and steam wand are no burn, like all the other machines. Valve bodies are massive. They are not sprung like those on the ECM and Profitec machines, so a little more turning involved to get from closed to fully open. Casework is really nice with rounded top edges and good finishing. So, recommendations. If you're looking for value, boy, it's hard to beat the Expo Bar Brutus 4R. It's typically priced at least $750 below any of these other machines. For some, it's you know not as beautiful as the others, but it's capable of making espresso that's every bit as good. The R58, Pro 700, and Synchronica are within about 10% of each other price-wise. The R58 is what I'd call the flashy one of the bunch. It really makes a statement with all that branding and the decision to have the PID control as a separate detachable unit. If you appreciate elegant, reliable engineering and detailed finish work, the Pro 700 and the Synchronica should get a look from you. Plus, they can do line pressure pre-infusion. That's something the other machines can't do. And if you're okay with the PID visible on the machine, customers just love that automatic shot timer. Day-to-day, plumbed-in, dual-boiler machines are the easiest machines to use. And I promise to tell you about two pieces of technology that make them even easier. First is a Wi-Fi timer switch. Now, these can be programmed so your machine turns on and off on a schedule so it's all heated up and ready to go when you are, and you can turn it on and off from anywhere, pretty much any time. There's many types available for around 30 bucks. If you get a switch, just make sure it's rated to handle the power load of your machine. Second is an inline water filter. We recommend BWT's Best Maxed Premium Filter. It makes for better tasting coffee, but just as important, with proper use, you will never need to descale your machine, and 
that's a big deal because in most cases, the scaling of dual boiler machines should only be performed by a qualified machine technician. BWT's patented ion exchange technology removes calcium and it replaces it with an amount of a magnesium that will not cause scale yet maintains flavor. So better flavor and no descaling. Now, if you've got any questions on these machines or anything coffee, use those comments and I'll get you the answers. I'm Mark, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.